People ask me all the time which phone they should buy, but what really matters is what you care about most. Is it going to be the price, the camera, battery life, the size of the phone, or maybe something completely different? Usually it comes down to price and features, which honestly go hand in hand. So the most expensive phone is going to have all of the extras, probably the best camera, fastest processor, and when you go down a level, the mid-range devices, you're not gonna see everything on there, but they're gonna have pretty good cameras. And the most important part is that you're gonna get good performance for a lot less than you would spend. When you drop down to the budget range, you are not gonna be paying a lot for them, but they're going to provide you with all of the basics and essentials that you need. If you're trying to decide which size phone you want, uh, your choices are pretty much large or extra large. There are a few smaller size phones on the market, um, but you're really limited there. The camera technology is so good that even on a mid-range phone, you're still gonna get really great usable shots if all you're doing is taking a phone out of your pocket and just shooting. What is going to differentiate the camera for you is what kind of extra shots you might wanna take. Do you like portrait shots with depth effect? If you take a lot of selfies, then you might want to find a camera that has an extra wide lens so that you can get more of your background into the shot. If you take a lot of photos, if you've got a lot of video stored on your device, then you're going to want to have a phone that's got more storage. There are two ways to do this. You can either buy a phone with larger capacity, which will be more expensive, or you can look for a phone with a micro SD card slot for external storage. Battery life is extremely important because the last thing you want is to be out and have your phone die. Then there are all the little things that you might care about day to day. For example, does it have a headphone jack? Then there's waterproofing. A lot of phones have it. Even budget phones might be splash resistant. Oh boy, Android versus iPhone. If you are a person who likes to tinker around a lot and customize your phone, Android is a natural fit. If you have a ton of iTunes inventory already, then you probably want to stick within that ecosystem. You can switch between the two. There are a lot of great guides on CNET that explain how to do that. And if you go into a carrier store, they will also help you make that transition. The best time to buy a new phone is during a promotion. You'll see a lot of promotions with carriers competing with one another or even at stores. Another thing you can do to save a little bit of money is when this year's phone comes out, consider buying last year's model. It's gonna still have most of the same specs. My number one piece of advice when you're gonna buy a phone is to do your research. But then most importantly, go hands-on with it. Go into a store. Oftentimes you pick up a phone and you know immediately, yes, this is a good fit for me, or like, no, this one thing is gonna drive me insane.